Now, till now we have been analyzing the section with the rectangular cross section, right? Now, for a change, let us analyze the section with the I section when the section is a I and see what changes in our computations when a simply supported beam is like an I section, okay. So, still I am looking at a simply supported beam. subjected to a uniformly distributed load W, but the cross section is now I shape. Okay. Let us assume the following dimensions for this section, let us assume the web thickness is T W and depth of web is h, let us assume the flanges is of width b and thickness b f and thickness t f, let us assume this flange is also of thickness t f and this flange is of width b f. Same flange thickness and flange width ok. Now, there are many questions that we have to answer what is the centre of the cross section, what is the moment of inertia of this cross section and so on. Let us deal with each of them one by one ok. As usual I am assuming this to be x, this to be y and this to be the z axis and the ends for this, this will be the y axis and this to be the z axis to start with. I do not know where the centroid is. So, I am assuming that I am at the bottom flange for the z axis and I am at the centre of the web for the y axis ok. This is just an assumption you can assume the y and z axis to be anywhere you want to and correspondingly you will get the centroid value for those things ok. Now, how do you find the centre of the cross section? These things you should know already, hence I will go fast ok to find the y centroid is integral y d a divided by integral d a x a x. I can divide it into 3 zones, one for this zone, one for this web and the other zone for this top flange ok. So, basically doing that I write it as B f into T f into the center of this would be T f by 2. I know that from uh, the previous analysis for the center of a rectangular section. So, this into T f by 2 is for the bottom flange, this is for bottom flange plus I have H into T w into h by 2 plus T f this would be for the web plate plus B f into T f into h plus T f plus T f by 2 this is for the top plate that is the centroid I am multiplying the area of the centroid of the respective sections ok divided by the area h into T w plus 2 times B f into T f the area of the bottom flange and the top flange ok. So, this will tell us that now what will this give me? This will give me B f into T f into 2 T f square into 2 plus h into T w into T f plus h square T w by 2 plus h into B f T f divided by h into T w plus 2 B f T f h by 2 plus T f then I will get it as h T w plus 2 B f T f 
divided by h t w plus 2 times b f t f ok. So, that will be h by 2 plus t f ok ok. So, similarly now z centroid would be z centroid would be integral a x z d a x by integral d a x a x. So, that is going to be b f into t f into z centroid would be b f by 2 this is for the bottom flange for the web it is going to be h into t w which is the area of the web into uh, I have to give the position of this web the c g of this web is assume as b f by 2 ok this is for the web plate plus for the top flange is going to be b f t f into b f by 2 for the top plate top flange divided by 2 times b f t f plus h t w it is easy to see that this will be nothing but b f by 2 which will be your z centroid ok. So, from this we find that where the centroid of this cross section is right ok.